Deborah Opry, the Jackson family's former attorney, has special insight into their legal strategy. Make no mistake, when those two children take the stand, that will be an emotional impact for the jury that AEG will probably not be able to challenge. But Michael Jackson's wrongful death civil trial is expected to begin as soon as this week. His family says promoter AEG Live bears the responsibility for his passing and that they need to pay up big time. So have you been keeping up with the AEG case? I have been, and uh, I'm more believing now that she's going to walk away with a lot of money. To me, it sounds like a big shakedown. No, I don't agree with you. Because really? when you have an AEG paying Dr. Murray, AEG had a higher duty to look behind the screen and say, who is this guy and what is he to Michael? So, Deborah, knowing that there were no contracts signed, I mean, what chance do the Jacksons have in winning this case? The remaining cause of action, which is the negligent hiring by AEG, would fall down to the evidence. It would be in the form of testimony. It would be in the form of emails. If there's no signed contract, was there an unsigned contract? From what I understand, Conrad Murray will not be testifying, so you won't hear from him. Naturally, you're not going to hear from Michael Jackson. So I would look to any emails or in, uh, intercommunications between AEG and uh, Conrad Murray if they, in fact, exist. And my understanding is there may in fact be an email from a CEO or uh, an executive at AEG which discusses uh, who Murray works for. Mm -hmm. So I, these I, are evidence pieces that are going to be absolutely important for the trier of fact. And actually, Deborah, the, the family does say they have an email proving AEG Live was paying Dr. Murray's salary. You know, here's what the uh, AEG Live co-CEO wrote about Murray just 11 days before Jackson's death. It said, we want to remind Murray that it is AEG, not Michael Jackson, MJ, who is paying his salary. We want to remind him what is expected of him. Could this, could this be the smoking gun? Absolutely. This piece of evidence, if it goes to a jury and those 12 jurors are inside a deliberation room, they're going to say, why would this email have ever been sent if AEG was not taking the position that he was employed? Remember, under the negligent hiring cause of action, which is the only remaining cause of action left, they have to prove that AEG had hired him. When uh, an executive as, uh, AEG says, uh, remember who hired you, that's, a, that's a well, telling piece of evidence. If, if, an attorney, if a jury rules that Katherine Jackson on the wrongful death action for negligent hiring wins, it's a win no matter how much she's awarded. Okay, thank you, so. Diane Diamond, Deborah Oprey. Thanks for your time.